Like everything we do is just gonna be a lot more intense than almost every other sport that you think about. But I mean, it was cool going into the Moss Art Center just because, I mean, everyone's like right there in front of you, just facing you. Everyone's on top of you. You have the fans screaming, the fans just taunting UVA and Pitt and NC State. It was just awesome getting that feel. I love that. And if you look at me, you can probably tell I'm a wrestler just because of the way I walk, just the way I kind of present myself to people. It just kind of shows that I'm confident, it shows that I'm a wrestler. We're really intense people. We're about to go out on a stage. Obviously, I'm anxious to get out there. And we go out as a team and we run out and do our little circle around the mat. We were just kind of getting ready, getting our bodies warm, ready to, ready to go for the match. Before my match, too, I'm kind of off to the side, and that's when I just put my music on and just get really pumped up. I like a little bit of techno stuff just to kind of get me real hyped up. And really, too, just watching the guys wrestle, too, will get me pumped up. Just watching them and just seeing how well they do. So when they get to 197, two matches out, I'll take my jacket off. This was probably the most exciting part, jumping around there and then having the camera right in your face. Kind of like run out with the fog going and with the announcer just saying, Joey Dance, ranked fourth in the country. Here's the start of the match. Right now, normally in the start of wrestling matches too, you kind of feel the guy out to kind of like feel what he's doing and kind of feel what his tendencies are like when he's moving around and stuff like that. See some openings, uh, see if he's leaving a leg like farther forward than his other. And if I pull him a little bit with my right arm, then I'll see like his right leg come forward and I know that I can shoot then. And so, I mean, you kind of just feel him out. Well, right, right here, I remember I needed to turn my body in just so I can secure my two points. And right here, actually we, we go over a lot, of, a lot of this in practice too, just because a lot of the UVA guys, they roll around like this. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hook his leg and then I'm turning my body. I need to get this arm free and I'm gonna hook it around his hip right over here just to kind of secure it and just so he can't roll it around that much. Yep, and that's what I'm trying to do here. And he actually did a really good job right here of grabbing my foot. And right right here, I remember I, I remember I kind of kind of pulled my hamstring a little bit right here. And he like stretched my leg out and I end up kind of like in a split. And I cannot do the splits either. So <laughs> this was definitely a painful part of the match. But I didn't, I didn't even really feel it till after the match because your adrenaline's going so so much too. I always think I always think I'm gonna score even if I'm in a bad position. I always want to stay positive when I'm out there on the mat too. But I remember right here, right when my leg like kind of like stretches out, we end up like rolling backwards or something like that. And right now, what he's trying to do is he's just trying to roll me around and trying to get me get him himself in a better position. But actually, what he does is he's when he's rolling me around, he's putting me in a he's putting himself in a worse position just because. I kind of did a good job about getting my hips up right after this roll. And then I came up on top and scored my two. We're back on our feet here. And I remember, I think I remember this part of the match too. This was probably going to the second period. And this is when I started getting a lot of takedowns here. And I just felt his whole body just break down and was able to capitalize and score a lot of points right here. Right here, I remember I got to my feet and I did this thing called a, it's called a flying Granby. What is what it is? It's like a roll, uh, just like a roll in the air. It's just an easier way to get a point. Cause uh, I remember when I was trying to get away and I was trying to break the kid's lock just to get my hips out and face him. He was just keeping his lock really good, so I decided to roll and I end up rolling and getting it away. Yeah. Of course, at the end of the match too, I looked to the fans and kind of throw my arms up in the air and just kind of scream towards him, just to try to rally him up and get him pumped up for the match showing that wrestling is a really rough and tough sport and it's fun to watch too. It says, uh, failure will never ever take me as long as my determination to succeed is strong. But I mean, that's just a quote that I kind of like go by and I'm, I've always I've always liked that quote a lot. It's kind of like a good wrestling quote too. It's a lot of motivation to me. Whenever I wake up in the morning, I kind of like just look at myself in the mirror and I kind of see that and I'm just like, all right, time to go after it today.